So this is the Google Pixel 6 right here and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you the new December update features that were released. So if you're new here just give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share to anyone you think that is going to be helpful to them and without further ado, let's just dive into the video. So this video right here will be accompanied with my Google Pixel 3 XL because I want to make things very very understanding to you guys. So in case maybe you see this phone right here, it's because I want you guys to just get whatever I'm going to show you guys. The first feature I want to share with you is the Gene logo that pops up when we try booting up our phone. So in case I try restarting these devices right here, you're going to see that right now the G logo supports material you theme in when you check on the device. So I have this phone theming being yellow. So when it reboots, you're going to see that the material you theme in on of this G logo that is going to pop up differs from the one right here. So you can check out right here. This one is going to turn yellow. You can see right here, we suppose the color of my theming and this one comes with a G color. So when the phone boots up, you can see mine wallpaper right here which means the G right here supports material you theme in which is part of the new update that was dropped so the next i want to share with you is within the internet toggles so right now when you just lock your screen and then you try turning on your internet on your phone initially when you tap on it like this it was going to ask you to enter your password but now when you turn on to the quick settings and you tap on your toggle it doesn't ask you for anything and when you check out right here you can see that the internet toggles now supports material you theming when you check on the new device which is a google pixel 6 the new update supports material you theming whereas this one doesn't support material you theming it supports material you theming with the toggles but right now you can see the wi-fi here is highlighted which means it supports material you theming per the dynamic colors i have on my phone so this is one of the features or the changes i also saw when i updated this device so the next change i also found was within wallpapers and style so when you go to wallpapers and style and you tap on change wallpapers and you tap on created culture you can see that there are new wallpapers that have been added right here this one two three right here and that's basically very cool so this is actually not a pixel 6 related it's actually the same when you go to my pixel 3 xl i go to my wallpapers and style and i tap on change wallpapers you're gonna see the same wallpapers right here and that is basically very cool so, so another changes i also found within wallpapers and style is when you go to the wallpapers and style you can see that on my home page I have this widget right here on my home page, the clock widget right here, and I have the weather and the clock widget right here. So when I go to my wallpaper and style on both phones, you're going to see the difference with the Google Pixel 6 right here. This update makes me see the widget I have right here, whereas with the Google Pixel 3 XL, you're going to see loading right here. It doesn't show the widget you have on your device, but with this, it shows the widget you have on the device. So that is the changes I also found in this new update, and that is basically very, very cool. So the next change I also found was within the system wide set. So when it's up on the system wide search and you try searching for something let's say i type in screen right here on both phones you're going to see that we have settings on both and you can see a magnifying glass on the pixel 6 right here but on the pixel 3 xl we don't have the magnifying glass right here so this is one of the changes i also found and also when you check out right here you try typing anything on your device and then maybe there's a picture or a screenshot in your gallery you're going to see that on the pixel 3 you're not going to see anything but on the pixel 6 when i try typing screenshots you're going to see we have a screenshot right here which is from the phone and when i press hold on it it's going to give me the option to just share it right away to my friends or anyone i feel i want to share it to them and that is basically very cool but in case you don't see this option right here on your pixel 6 all you need to do is you need to go to your settings right here and when you go to your settings you type in pixel launcher and when you type in the pixel launcher you scroll down and then you tap on this section right here and then you clear storage when you clear storage every widget you have on your home screen is gonna vanish so you have to do everything all together again so you can see my widgets are not showing any longer and every app you have on your other pages is actually gonna leave the pages and leave it blank like this so if you are already waiting to just get this feature you can just try it out if you don't bother to just get this screenshots feature right here to get all the screenshots popping up right here on your device then you don't have to worry all you need to do is you just leave it there and then you don't have to go clear the storage of the pixel launcher and that is basically very cool so, so the next changes i also found was within the quick settings right here so right now when you just scroll down like this and then you check out right here you can see that we have our clock right here in our quick settings whereas on this on my pixel 3x so i don't see the clock right here i just see the date and the day but with this one i'm going to see the clock and then the dates and then the day and that is basically very cool so that is also the changes i found in the quick settings right here so when the december pixel update was released we saw that there was this new feature added which is the quick tap to snap so right now when you go to your settings and then you go to your system and then you go to gestures 
and then you tap on quick tap right here you're going to see that you have options to turn on quick tap for any action you feel like you want so you can quick tap the back side of your phone to take a screenshot to assess digital assistance and all right here but right now we want to send it to snapchat which is one of the new features that was added to the december update so you tap on this section right here and then you scroll to to see snapchat right here and then you tap on this toggle right here so you can choose to just turn this to open up in case you backed up like this it's gonna open your snap and that is basically very cool so when i turn the toggle on and i backed up my phone like this it's gonna take it to snap and that is basically very cool in case you don't like the option you don't want it to be on the open snap or you want it to be on spotlight you can just put it on spotlight so when i backed up like this it's gonna open snapchat and spotlight and that is basically very cool so you can see right here this is one of the features that was added to the pixel update and that is very very awesome because this makes the google pixel 6 and 6 pro the fastest phone to open snapchat and that is basically very very cool so if this feature is one of the features you like just drop a like and let's check out the next feature so in this new update i think the fingerprints was being sorted because when i just tap on my phone like this it just unlocks it and that is pretty much very cool initially people were complaining and i was having a bit of problem not really much but with the new updates the fingerprint is being sorted and if in case maybe yours isn't working like you think or you want it you can just state in the comment section and i'm going to leave a video in my description which is actually going to help you to make your fingerprint a bit smarter than it used to be or it is and I think with the December updates, the fingerprint is being sorted and no one is going to complain about that. And that is basically very cool. So let's check out the next feature. So the next feature, which is the hold for assistance, has gotten a new tweak and that is pretty much cool. So when you go to your settings and then you go to your system and then you go to gestures and then you scroll down to see hold for assistance and then you tap on this section right here you're going to use your off button to just turn on assistance and right now you have this toggle right here to tweak it in case you want to press it for long before it turns it on you're going to tweak it right here and then you tap on it like this and then it's going to turn assistance on and that's pretty much very cool initially we had no options like this to tweak this section or make it short or long in order to turn google assistance on so in case this video was very helpful just give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel share to anyone you think that is going to be helpful to them and in case you want to know more tips and tricks about this device too you can check out this video right here and without further ado i'm just going to catch you in the next video peace